it should really disgust you how fraudulent the Pokemon community is. It's pretty much all scumbags being fake at this point, and they have to cancel me because I'm the only person trying to do good in the community. So here we have Michael Pramwatt complaining about cheating. I now understand why cheating is so easy in Pokemon. The rules just let people break game states for zero consequences. I want to quit. Michael Pramwatt, the same person who cheated at Worlds on stream, taking an excessive amount of time to search through his deck even though he already found the card he was looking for, really studying the position and placement of everything in his deck, and then shuffling his deck face up after stalling, then resolving the card effect. So getting the only card he needed to do, and then shuffling with clearly visible, the camera can see the cards, and then top decking the nuts. So, I mean, we just, we have, look, look at that. Also, a lot of false shuffles, trackable card positions, just looking at the stream. The dude is a cheat, but no one calls him out on it. Again, like, they have to cancel me, the only person calling out people doing bad things in the Pokemon community. And now he's complaining about cheating. And these complaints are coming from the international championships. So large scale events. We've been breaking down how every regionals in 2023 has had controversy from tons of cheating to play official abuse and all kinds of just wildness going on. So yeah, let's see what the complaints are. Let's put it in more perspective. I'm not angry at any person involved. I'm angry that the rules are nonsense. And even inside of the complaint, these people are so fake because they don't want any backlash or they don't want to offend anyone despite trying to like get at a problem that they just use soft dismissive language about it. And I've been complaining about rules for years, but no one cares. So the hypocrisy, it's just all nonsense, guys. I have some time between rounds, so I'll explain what happened. My opponent was using Raihan and went to look at my discard pile. After he went to grab it, he also accidentally flipped over half my deck. We both saw the contents of it, call a judge. Then I was told it would only be a warning, and I appealed because that is inconsistent with how other reveal situations are dealt with. In the appeal, I was told it's Pokemon rules, it stays a warning because it's not enough of an advantage. Now, I don't think my opponent was cheating, it was an honest mistake. The judges did what they were supposed to do, but the rules they're following are just nonsense. It's the reason that causes rifts between players and judges while letting cheaters skate by unpunished. The irony of that last statement, because his action to attempt to escalate the penalty is unsportsmanlike. That is cheating. He was trying to get his player some kind of punishment, most likely prize cards, to where he can then gain advantage or maybe win the game on the spot off of a mistake. That is why the rules say it's a warning and we've already been over this. Minor gameplay errors have little to no effect on the progress of the game and can be fixed or rewound completely with little effort. Many genuine mistakes. So it just kind of says like if it's a genuine mistake that does not hurt anyone or like drastically affect the game state, it's minor. How are you complaining about that rule? And it's not like this is being manipulated. This is happening at every event. There's constant people knocking over decks to try to see what cards the opponent has or anything. No, this is a mistake. This is by the rules. Also, it's stated in the rules to de-escalate penalties where possible because Pokemon is supposed to be for fun. Major gameplay errors result in some irreversible confusion to the game state that cannot be completely rewound or otherwise offset through corrective action. Now, yes, you can't undo seeing your opponent's cards, but that is not a game state. So there isn't even an argument to upgrade it. The judge is completely right. The reason why there is tension between judges and players is that the players are scumbags. And we already know this guy's a piece of work because he cheated at Worlds, and it looks like he's still trying to cheat to disadvantage his opponent to this day. So, once a cheater, always a cheater. That is, like, the law of Pokemon, proven by Wolfie VGC also still being a career-long cheater, and guys showing the problems. We're not seeing actual punishment of bad players who have historically cheated or tried to be unsporting or anything like that. The Pokemon company, Play Pokemon, they're all corrupt. All the tournament organizers and officials are corrupt and just kind of let this happen. And then we just kind of get nonsense like this and then trying to get support because the Pokemon community only knows how to be toxic. Now, we do find some rational people in the comments out of curiosity. What were you hoping to happen to your opponent for an honest mistake? 
it seems like you and your opponent knew it was an honest mistake, but you were gunning for the harshest punishment. I wouldn't say harshest, because I'd be like, DQ him, or game loss. Um, if we go back to the rules, yeah, major double prize card. He was fishing for the double prize card. Pram the shark, dude. Pram the cheater holds up. But then we just have, like, the weirdos and NPCs that we see in this community. Your lists have been inspiring. I couldn't imagine the stress. Hope you have a good tomorrow, dude. Hug your friends. Bro, he's, he's already been an established cheater. Like, it, it's indefensible to be a fan of Pram because of how much of a cheater he is and then, like, stuff like this. And game sucks. So we can just kind of see the bad actors in Pokemon trying to make it worse for everyone, being unsporting, making the competition worse, and then, like, the players are the ones making the tension between judges and players worse. Now, we do have the situation that happened with Makani, but even Makani folded. Makani's a little discriminating brat. He said, I'm the only person that's not allowed to cover the story, even though everyone else is allowed to. And when you think about it, the reason why I got flustered and ended up in that situation is because he didn't like getting teased as a they-them because of what happened at a previous event. But then he just had like start just bending over to the kind of people that actually drove this situation. And then the same thing happened for the Pokemon community. Makani isn't a good dude in all of this either. And that just kind of shows like, anywhere you go in play Pokemon or competitive Pokemon, it's just going to be bad dudes, weirdos, scumbags, toxic stuff, and, and all that. And when you look at what's happened in just the last month and a half, it's downright evil out here. So yeah, we had the power tripping they them judge, making it to where this kid needed to be removed from the event. The head judge obliging instead of trying to de-escalate the situation, which is encouraged in the rules, which resulted in a minor being thrown out of the event and being on his own without any contact, or like having to borrow a friend's phone for an hour. But also the situation only happening because his opponent, Alex, is Alphabet Gang and decided to throw Makani under the bus. Therefore, he could get the free win from the disqualification. Uh, we had so much other stuff going on. Tournament officials just flubbing and causing a disabled player to lose a game over nothing and then not trying to compensate or make the situation any better. Cheater getting exposed. Then we had this dude who's a real scumbag. He was marking cards, and when he got caught marking cards, he tried to use ADHD as an excuse and then try to get the community behind it because of inclusivity or something. And then, of course, we have VGC, Wolf Glick being the most prolific cheater in the history of Pokemon throughout his entire career, but also every non-Japanese world champion being a confirmed cheater, and pretty much every Play Pokemon event finalist for, God, like the last half decade or something has been confirmed cheating. Worlds 22 first place, Worlds 22 second place, again, all the other world champions, and then more and more coming out as, as it just keeps on going, and then a majority, an overwhelming majority of teams also being cheated as well. So even if you're trying to like chill inside the game, not at a serious event, it's all cheaters anyways. So yeah, no, no wonder things are this bad and we just keep getting like nonstop losers like this that are trying to cheat, get away with it, be unsporting. That goes back to VGC with timer stalling and stuff. Yeah, there we go guys. Just more, more to add to the pile. Eventually someone will care. That's why I keep doing it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.